Anyway, this was a good one, but it's long. But um, bottom line is, I'll cut to the chase, this person had um, a healing of cancer. And before she's seen Ron, you know, she had the doctor's appointment. After Ron blessed her uh, during a service, she went back to her doctor and to have surgery for this cancer. And then the, she said the doctors were arguing back and forth that um, these can't be the right x-rays. You know, and she goes, I tried to tell them I was at a healing mass that got prayed for. They want to hear that, <laughs> she said. So then they, they were determined to um, give her another and schedule surgery because she says, I'm healed. And she says, well, the doctor didn't believe her. So he did schedule the surgery. And when they opened it up, there were, there were no cancers and no scar tissue. So um, everything's possible. So whatever you're going through today, you know, my mentor, Padre Ron Roth, my, our healer, Yeshua, the Holy Spirit is here and your angels. So everyone works together for good for those that love God. You love God. I love God. So let's enter into that place now that we can actually celebrate God. And so anyone who's, you know, maybe lost their faith or was disappointed that um, your healing has not manifested. Actually, I'm going to tell a story. Hopefully it's a quick one. Um, I was listening to a, um, a preacher and he talked about um, they always did healing conferences. And this one lady came forward and she had a goiter, a big goiter. And so the preacher went and prayed for her. And um, in the physical, nothing happened. But she felt something. She goes, I'm healed, you know? And so she walked away and a year later, they had the same conference up like we do our fall and spring retreat conferences, healing conferences. So she came back and for the second time and, and she asked if she could testify. And they're like, well, okay. So the, the presenter uh, let her testify. She goes, last year, God healed me of my goiter. And everybody's like, well, she's still got it. And she just wanted to testify, thank you, God, because he healed me. And it's like, well, like the crowd and the presenters, you know, that's kind of not how we do it, but okay, that's your experience. Well, she came back the third year. And the third year, she asked um, if she could share her testimony about God healing her. And then they turned her down. And she was so disappointed. That day, she went back to her room and says, God, you told me I was healed. And they say, I can't uh, testify. I know I'm healed. She went to bed. Next day, she woke up. The goiter was gone. And it's like, that was a three-year process. But she believed that first laying on of hands that God touched her. So don't believe what other people have said or a doctor said. Yeah, we take what, wisdom from the doctors. I agree. But when in your spirit, you know that you know that you know. So I just decree any obstacle to any fear of the unknown and believe what God has said. Believe God's promises for your healing. So just Holy Spirit, intensify that fire right now, that burning within th their bodies right now, giving them an indication that you're on the field, that you're present and that you're healing and restoring in the name of Jesus. So I just allow now the cloud of witnesses to, on their behalf, to begin to maneuver, begin to heal, begin to restore uh, all areas of their body. And as they sleep and wake up tomorrow, um, health, vitality, freedom, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.